Blowout in Queens. Hello and welcome to the channel. The Dodgers take game three in flushing and one in dominant fashion. An arousing win in this game three for the Dodgers. There are just a lot of positive things to say about the Dodgers right now. They're doing a lot of things well. You think about what this Dodgers pitching staff has done. I mean, they've thrown shutouts in four of the last five games of the postseason. It's pretty remarkable. It's not hard to sell the idea the Dodgers have the best bullpen in baseball. And maybe an elite bullpen is good enough to win the World Series. But what they do so well is plate discipline, patience. When I watch the Dodgers this postseason, I feel like the pitching is coming with it, that it takes a lot of pressure off the offense to where they're not worrying too much about scoring runs. Their guys are not coming up to the plate trying too hard. They're not swinging at any and everything. Instead, letting the game just come to them. They look more relaxed at the plate. They're not chasing as much. They're not swinging for the fences, which I like because a patient eye tends to get them on base more often. And I just feel like every run the Dodgers have scored this series has been because of walks. I look at the Dodgers and think they walk and, and hit home runs, and that's when they dominate. That's usually when good things happen for the offense when they do those two things really well. They walk and then they hit home runs. And you saw that last night in game three. Last night, three bombs, seven walks, um, and from top to bottom, complete domination. The roster is closer to an A+. And the performance felt like an A-plus last night. It was outstanding. And obviously, give Walker Bueller a lot of credit. I mean, he was phenomenal. I love what Bueller was able to give the Dodgers last night. And for the first time this season, he had his best stuff. If you look at his year, he had a lot of struggles having clean innings. It's been a rough year for him. Bueller just didn't have his best stuff. But last night, in a pivotal game three, he possessed some of the best stuff on the Dodgers staff. Bueller's start was everything the team could have hoped for. You know, this was the outing that they needed from him, and they got just that. And that outing, I think, last night, was what a lot of fans were clamoring for. I'm feeling good right now. As a Dodger fan, I'm feeling good right now after that performance last night you got from Bueller. And listen, I'm always a little bit nervous with the Dodgers because, you know, every October they have done nothing but disappoint me. Um, They come up short every year when it feels almost like it's our year. And I believe pitching, as I always say, I believe pitching wins championships and what we've seen from them this October, amazingly and astonishingly, and astonishingly is dominant pitching. That's what got them where they currently are. The bullpen is locking it down. Good pitching will take you out and ultimately will capture a championship for a team, especially if they go on one of these hot stretch runs where a team just looks completely unstoppable. And here's what here's what I will say. This is what I like about the Dodgers. I, I, I got to tell you, I actually am happy to see this team hitting the ball and a pitching staff putting up zeros. I mean, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It's exciting for me. It, it's encouraging for the Dodgers who have suffered more from their own misery every postseason. 
And you're like wondering, when will the pain end? Because every year is our year. Well, if every year is our year, we would have won last year and the year before that. Hell, we would have dominated the entire decade and have at least won four or five of these. You know? And that's all in the past now. You know, what what happened last year, we moved on from it. I, I've moved on from that, and I'm focused on this moment right here, right now. What I love about the 2024 Dodgers so far is that they're actually scoring runs. They're hitting the ball, hitting and shutting it down in the bullpen. And even the starting pitching of late has been the formula of um, of their success uh, recently. You know, and, and if they keep this up, I mean, this could be the this could be what potentially gets them to another World Series. They're just two wins away, two wins, and they'll punch their ticket to the World Series. I was expecting at least five innings from Walker Bueller. the 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 four innings that he pitched, he was dominant. He he was absolutely dominant. It it was lights out stuff. This October, when Bueller, um, brings. Uh, stuff like this, that that can only mean good things for the Dodgers. And this is October. This is when he usually brings his best stuff with him onto the big stage. You can tell he enjoys and relishes every moment. And last night, that was a look of a man who was locked in. It was dominance in every sense of the word. I thought he went after guys early, stayed ahead in the count, located his pitches very well. I think he did a very wonderful job to keep that Mets offense at bay and he did exactly what the Dodgers needed him to do I mean straight gas uh just completely lights out his curveball was nasty uh the Mets swung on seven breaking balls from Walker Bueller they missed six of them they missed six six of them he went four innings struck out six did not give up a run now, for a minute there, in the bottom of the second inning, I believe it was the bottom of the second inning, I felt some anxiety. I'm not going to lie. I felt some anxiety. My heart began to, to, to rise. I started to panic. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. I, I could barely watch at that point. I'm screaming at the TV, literally about to lose my damn mind and explode. Walker Bueller faces Francisco Lindor. Bases are loaded. Two outs, the count ran full to Lindor. Bueller strikes out Lindor with a knuckle curve to escape a bases loaded jam. And I was much less stressed after that. I I wasn't as stressed out after that. I was able to get through that inning before needing to exhale in relief. The sixth inning was when the Mets threatened again. Bottom half of the inning, Brazier is on. He's struggling with his command, walking people. Two on, one out. Brazier faces Iglesias, and he hits into an inning-ending double play. And how about the pick by Freddie Freeman at first base? And Kike Hernandez. How good is he in the postseason? How phenomenal is he in the month of October? Mr. October comes through again in the clutch, a two-run home home run, a, a two-run blast in the top of the six that gave the Dodgers a 4 nothing lead. Did you know with that home run, it was his 15th career postseason home run? I bet you didn't know he became the fourth Puerto Rican-born player with 15 or more home runs in the postseason. That's incredible stuff. Bernie Williams, Carlos Correa, and Carlos Beltran, the others. Shohei Otani, you knew he would join the home run party. And sure enough, he did. In the eighth inning, I think it was the eighth inning, Shohei is up. He's got two on. 
So far in this postseason, with the bases empty, he's 0 for 22. And with runners on base, he's a threat. He hit one so deep just inside the foul pole that he sent Mets fans home. His second homer of the postseason, I mean, they, right now, these Dodgers, they look like a complete team. Now, with how they are pitching and their bottom half of the batting order is doing most of the damage, Max Muncy also destroyed a ball. They can score with pretty much anybody. And when they do, they tend to score them in huge chunks. They are capable of doing that because they have a lot of guys in the lineup who who not only have power, but they have discipline. And disciplined guys are willing to take their walks and set up the guys that can hit the ball out of the park. And that's what we saw last night. And there are a lot of those guys in the Dodgers lineup. That's the versatility they have. And when they just walk, get on base, hit the ball, move the runners over, go station to station, and somebody comes up and delivers the big hit, good things usually happen for these Dodgers. So now they take a 2-1 commanding lead in this series. Game 4 is tonight back at City Field. And the Dodgers now have a chance to go up three games to one with a chance to possibly close out the series on Friday. I think the Mets will, you know, come back tonight. I think the Mets will be swinging the bats well tonight. And I think this is going to be a back and forth series. Now, I do think the Dodgers will win the series, but the Mets are not going to go down that easy. They're going to come back tonight. And I think it's going to be a great game at City Field. But I do think the Dodgers are going to win this series. And I do think the series gets back to L.A. I do think the series gets back to L.A. for a game six. Um, it's, it's, it's exciting stuff right now. But the Dodgers, man, they look like a complete team. And they finally look like a team that can win the World Series. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. I'm out of here now. You guys have a great day. Enjoy your Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Yay. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you like my content, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button. We'll talk again soon.